you reap what you sow, you harvest what you have planted. We all human beings portrayed as image of God. We all face difficulties. However, solutions comes in different ways. I, Sam Kankolongo, will be taking you through the heart of Johannesburg to show you how foreign nationals are inspired to live their life and what difficulties do they encounter in order for them to live the South African dream. You really think that South Africa is a good place for foreign nationals? No, I don't think so. Why not? Um, I think that South Africa are not accepting of um, people that are from other African countries. Black people from other African countries. Uh, it's something that I've witnessed. It's something that I, you hear it in the way they speak about, you know, people that are from other uh, African countries that are particularly black. Mm. But why don't they accept black foreign nationals? Because at the end of the day, we are all Africans. I think it stems from self hate as well, you know. Um, I think it's just, it stems from self-hate and I also think it, it's like it stems from the how South Africa was before, you know, people were already divided, we did not like each other as South Africans, you know, uh, Zulus, Kosas, whatever. So then when foreign, uh, other African people from, let's say, Congo, Zimbabwe, wherever they came, I feel like it just exploded, you understand, that's why. There were xenophobic attacks and all that. But now, when you go back to the apartheid regime, mm -hmm. when you're looking at the history of South Africa, you see countries like Mozambique, mm -hmm. DRC in that time, they were called Zaire, mm -hmm. Libya, Angola fought so that South Africa can be a peaceful country. But now, why can that mentality remain? And the thing that when foreign nationals come into South Africa is only to destroy their country. Why? Ignorance. It's ignorance. You know, as people were ignorant, you know, someone once said, if you don't travel, at least read, you know, or study. Um, and I think it's just ignorance. People are not aware of those things. And I still think even though they did those things for South Africa, they helped accommodate people during that time, it should not be sort of tit for tat. They should still be accommodative, but that's not how it is. You know, the fact is, South Africans are xenophobic. I see. Mm -hmm. But now, looking at this, when you see uh, foreign nationals coming into South Africa, remember, they don't stay here for free. Mm -hmm. They pay the tax. Mm -hmm. They pay the tax and they, are, they, are, they have their businesses that are well known. Mm -hmm. And paying tax already shows that, hey, you know what, we are contributing to the economy yeah. of the country. Mm -hmm. But now, I still wonder, why can't the government do something about this issue of xenophobia because we see it every day every time mm -hmm. for instance you're in a taxi because you cannot speak zulu you are recorded as a bad person mm -hmm. why is that i really don't know i'll, I'll never understand myself because i i cannot you know talk for other people but it's something that i have witnessed and i cannot sit here and deny it and say no south africa is a good country we accommodate foreigners because i've witnessed it i know about it that's all i've i know from some south africans not all of them you know so do you love foreign nationals i do i'm very accepting <laughs> I think I'm an accepting person of people of different um, backgrounds, um, ethnicities and all that. I'm pretty, yes. So I've been exposed to like different... So you wouldn't mind getting married to one? No, I wouldn't mind. Wow, that's, that's really good. Mm. Thank you very much, man, for your time. You are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> not really. Why like, not? With xenophobia and like getting jobs with foreigners is really hard. And also... Um, 
most South Africans don't really appreciate wellness and don't want them in South Africa. So what are your experiences since you grew up in South Africa? They've been good and bad. Like I've experienced xenophobia like twice. I couldn't go to school like for the longest time when I was in primary and in high school. So it was really hard. And when I first came here I couldn't speak English or like I still can't speak Zulu so when I go into a taxi and I don't and I only speak in English, they like speak to you rudely and tell you, you know we all black you should learn how to speak Zulu but like not all black people speak Zulu. So can you survive in South Africa without the help of your parents? No. I can't. <laughs> Why can't you? Because I I don't it's not that easy to get a job here. And I'm I'm only like nineteen. So imagine me trying to like get myself food and sh and shelter and all of that. That would be really hard. But now for those who left the parents when they were 15 coming to study knowing that living away from parents is a problem but they still made it exactly. what difference do they have from you like they they were sent here alone i was not sent here alone. i came here with my parents so like i, I only know how to live away from so would you try to suggest uh, south africa to all your family members who are maybe in congo or abroad to come also like and live here and work here because life is tough. Right? Yeah. Thank Not you. as easy as it seems. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. African Net sur YouTube et aussi abonnez-vous sur notre page officielle sur Facebook International African Net. On s'attrape à la prochaine édition. Ciao. Ma bolito, il faut t'aimer. Il y a un peu de force, ma bobaïe. Il y a un peu de la vie, c'est moi, division.